guys, before we get started with this video, I would just like to say, if you're enjoying my content, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and give that notification bell a big ol' smack for me. It helps the channel out a lot. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. It's reading your comments 12 on the Barney Hunter 12 YouTube channel. Anyway guys, welcome to the 12th installment to the Reading Your Comments series. As you've probably guessed by now, in this series, I read you guys' comments on video. Today, I am playing Fisticuffs on camera today. Uh, and before we get started, uh, Taco Maniac, if you're watching this video, you absolutely destroyed me in this Fisticuffs match, my guy. I literally, like, you'll see, this guy killed me over and over and over and over again. Like, I'm almost embarrassed to put this footage on screen because, like, I'm not that good at fisticuffs to begin with, but my performance in this recording was just... It's embarrassing, to say the least. But, anyways, without any further ado, let's get into this. Why did I burp at the same time as you? Ew, I'm disgusted! Ah, you see, I have that effect on people. It's called the burping effect. When I burp around people, they burp in return. It's quite a funny thing to have because when I go to super serious restaurants in real life, I burp after finishing a meal and the whole restaurant erupts in burps. It's, it's so amazing. I'm so glad that I have this power. Honestly, I wonder why the security guards have handcuffs. Like, I want to know. That's kind of a cool idea, but dumb at the same time. The cool thing is if you're a security, you control with the handcuffs, but like, what happens if you get handcuffed? Go to jail? Coming from the perspective of people that are trying to moderate the game, yeah, I don't really get why there's security guards either. Like, don't get me wrong, it's kinda cool being a security guard and having handcuffs and all that, but when you think about it from, like, the perspective of trying to keep the game moderated, what's the point? You can just have people with mod permissions that can kick people and ban people. There's really no need for people with handcuffs, because, like, like you said, it doesn't really do anything. I mean, most of the time, all they really do is handcuff them and bring them to people who can kick them anyway, right? You don't really need the person in front of you either, because you just read their chat logs. You just need their username, and in that case, you can just look up in the chat. Like, I mean, if they show chat, that is. Some games don't show the public chat, but whatever. It's still kind of like, I wouldn't say useless, but kind of like, okay, this isn't really necessary. Let's respect the fact that he's doing it so that we can enjoy his content daily. Yeah, I, I am pretty active when it comes to uploading on this YouTube channel. However, it did start to catch up to me. I was able to do uploads every other day for like a solid month. And it quickly, quickly got the better of me. Which is why now the uploading schedule is every two days instead of every one day now. And, uh, yeah, this is a much better uploading schedule. This gives me more time to make the videos, edit them, and I don't have to feel rushed when doing it. I'd rather come out with a better quality video that takes a little bit longer than push out a video quicker that's not as good quality. I hope you guys agree with me on that. So, yeah, if you've been following me on Twitter or if you've been paying attention to the community tab, you would have known about this, that, yeah, the uploading schedule was changing. And if you didn't know about this, then... Yeah, that's why you gotta check out my Twitter account and check the community tab every once in a while because that's where updates like that are posted. But anyways, let's get on to the next comment. Barney loves burping, I swear. Me? Love burping? Whatever gave you that idea? <coughs> yeah, no, that's not me at all. <coughs> do some voice chat trolling. You really should do these more often. Maybe do something similar to your old voice changer videos in the future, except in random cafes. You should do more trolling on Discord. Those were all posted on the video where I trolled in Solera Hotel's Discord server by, like, opening troll tickets. Uh, now, that was a very fun video to make. In fact, it was one of the funnest videos in a long time. And I could tell that you guys really enjoyed it as well. However, after that video came out, from what I have heard, Solera Hotel's Discord was absolutely swamped with other people trying to mimic what I did. Now, I expected this outcome, alright? I expected that to happen. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Uh, but the thing is, when it comes to Discord trolling, um, Discord is a lot different than Roblox, alright? It is not as heavily moderated as Roblox is. And some people may see that as a good thing, 
But the problem is, is you could run into some not so good characters on Discord, uh, and they'll be able to do things that they wouldn't be able to do on Roblox, or at least they would have a harder time doing on Roblox. Basically, my point is, is that it's, uh, it's much more of a wild, wild west on Discord than it is on Roblox. That's the point I'm trying to make here. Not to mention the fact that if I start doing, like, Discord trolling and cafe Discord servers, I worry that people will try to raid those servers in my name, and I know that that's, like, no, I don't want to see that happen. Not to mention the fact that, specifically with like that ticket trolling thing, I mean, people were able to post pictures, and so I can only imagine some of the stuff that they posted in there. I think most of you guys are smart enough to know not to post like severely inappropriate things when you do troll tickets, but I know there's gonna be some people out there who don't have the sense to know that that's not okay. So, you know, after thinking about it, you know, it was f a fun video to make, and maybe I'll do it again in the future, but probably not anytime soon, because, like, I don't know, because I, I had to really think hard about that video, because it's like, yeah, it was fun and all, but I gotta really think about the uh, outcome that came of that video, you know? And the outcome that would come of future Discord trolling videos if I was to make them, you know what I'm saying? Me wishing Barney had a star code. You know, the thing is, after Flamingo got into the star program, I think this made a bit of a change for trolling YouTubers. And I'll tell you why. Sorry, I've got a burp, like, stuck in my throat and it's not coming out. Okay, there it is. Anyways, so, Flamingo is pretty much a kid-friendly troll. You know, he's a family-friendly channel, somewhat. Uh, and he was able to get into the star program, uh, because he was... Uh, kid friendly and he's moved on from his edgy toxic ways that he used to have in Albert's stuff So if any of us troll youtubers were to get really big and we were to stay fr You know family friendly and weren't edgy and toxic One of us could get into the star program, you know And I don't think that a lot of trollers thought about this when Flamingo got in there This gives us trollers incentive to stay clean to stay out of drama to not be edgy Etc, etc, etc. So, you know, if there's other trolling YouTubers out there, you know, you may want to hop onto this uh, trend of not being toxic. You know what I mean? Because if, hey, if any of us get big, then Roblox may consider adding us to the Star Program someday. But that's if any of us get really big, which who knows if that will actually happen. You and Albert should do a video together. That would be a dream come true, let me tell you. But uh, that is very much. Highly unlikely, and probably completely unlikely, uh, because he probably doesn't even know that I exist. Uh, I would be very surprised if he has even heard of me. Um, but I'll tell you what, though, if he was to want to do a collab with me, I'd do it. Absolutely, I'd do it. And it's not just because he would bring a lot of viewers to my channel, but because I'd like to get to know the guy. Honestly, I'd love to get to know the guy. I feel like, based on the way he acts on camera, which, who knows, maybe he'll be different off camera, but... Anyway, based on who he is on camera, I think he and I have a lot in common. I really think he and I have a lot in common. <laughs> so it, it would be a lot of fun just to get to know the guy, make a video or two, and just hang out, you know? That would be so awesome. But I know that that will probably never happen. But hey, you never know. Who knows? Maybe, maybe one day I'll get up to his level and he'll notice me and who knows. But I doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. I got a free Robux ad before the video. I immediately click on this video, and I'm greeted with a free Robux ad. Care to explain? Barney isn't in charge of the ads, therefore, he doesn't know what ads go up. Thank you to the person who replied to that comment. I've made a few tweets about this in the past, about YouTube putting free Robux ads on the site, and it's just ridiculous that YouTube does this. I've seen those before. They're literally putting scam ads. On friggin' YouTube! It's- that's not okay! And then I hear about YouTube putting them on my videos? Dude, I'm infuriated! I'm absolutely infuriated that YouTube is deciding to put free Robux ads on my videos! I'm sure this goes without saying, but if you see a free Robux ad, not just on one of my videos, but anywhere, don't click on it, don't, like, interact with it at all. If you can, just skip it or ignore it, alright? They're all scams, alright? And they could end up getting you hacked, 
They could end up getting you viruses. Just don't do anything with them. They're not safe. The fact that YouTube is promoting this nonsense is ridiculous, and it just... Ugh, I, I could rant about this for a long time. So yeah, like I said, if you happen to find a, a, re a free Robux ad on one of my videos, just know that I did not put it there. That's YouTube, alright? If you want to send a complaint about it, send it to YouTube. Like, tell them, hey, stop putting free Robux ads on your website. They are scams. Stop putting them on here, alright? Anyways, moving on, next comment. Finally, a video where Barney Hunter 12 doesn't speak the whole entire time. Yeah, I don't like those videos when Barney talks because he takes more time to troll. And also, I can't take too much attention to what is happening because of the talking. I've asked you guys before if you wanted to see me do videos where I don't talk as much again, which I call the Green Lego Cat style. And it seems like not too many people want me to do that. Most people seem to like when I do commentary. But if you are one of those people that wants me to do more videos where there's no commentary or little commentary, let me know in the comments because I'm not going to do them unless like I know people want it. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments below. What do you like better when there is commentary or when there is not commentary? Green Lego Cat style or Flamingo style? Let me know in the comments below. Let your voice be heard. DML Prison. This masterpiece of a game? Yeah, DML Prison. It's unfortunately dead now, but back in its glory days, man, it was a really fun game. It was a really fun game. It's obviously outdated, very outdated, compared to the games that are made nowadays, but like I said, for the time period it was in, it was a lot of fun. If anybody out there played DML Prison, please let me know in the comments. I wonder, I want to know how many former DML Prison players there are out there. Because this was... Oh, I have so many memories on this game. Anyways, next comment. If you don't want to use Robux for audio, I believe Soros audio requests are done with Soro Bucks. It only costs 20 for one request, and you get 100 Soro Bucks per account for free. Thank you for that suggestion. I did go to Soros and try that out. And yes, they do have audio requests for Soro Bucks, and yes, they do give you a little bit of Soro Bucks for free just for joining. However, Soros was way ahead of us. They must have some kind of moderation bot in there, because before you even get to play it, they have a thing that'll pop up saying this audio has been deemed inappropriate or something like that. They did that to the burping audio that I had at Koala Cafe. So, yeah, they, they were way ahead of us uh, when they made that whole free audio thing, you know? They were way ahead of us. They knew that there was going to be some people out there that would use it to troll. Barney sounds like Spongebob when he is yelling, lol. That's interesting. I sound like Spongebob when I'm yelling? I don't know. I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't hear it. No, I don't hear it. I don't hear a resemblance at all. If anybody else thinks I sound like SpongeBob, let me know in the comments. I'm actually kind of interested to see if there's anybody else who thinks that. Question. Is there a Miss Barney Hunter 12 yet? Let that sink in. Now that's a question I get all the time. Do I have a girlfriend or do I have a wife? Well, they always phrase it girlfriend. I don't think I've ever been asked if I have a wife before. Um, but anyways, to answer the question, I can't give you a yes or no answer. I'm not going to confirm or deny because I made the decision a while ago that if I do get a girlfriend or I do get married, I am not going to be sharing my significant other to my YouTube audience unless she wants to be shown to the YouTube audience. But I would really prefer not showing her to my YouTube audience because I don't want people using her to get to me or to start going after her just because she's connected to me. Basically, it's to protect her in short terms. It's to protect her, all right? Uh, that's, that's why I would not confirm or deny if I have a girlfriend or a wife or anything along those lines. So, most likely, you're never going to hear anything from a significant other of mine, unless they really want to be shown, but I tell you what, though, I would definitely do my best to make sure they don't get shown, alright? Yeah, so, that should answer the question. Do I have a girlfriend or a wife? I'm not going to confirm it or deny it. You're just going to have to figure that one out yourself. Do a 1K video special, because your next video is your 1,000th video. 
I actually did not notice that. It was you guys that showed me that I was getting close to 1,000 total uploaded videos. And by now, yes, we have surpassed 1,000 videos. I've been doing YouTube since mid-2012. So, yeah, I've been uploading videos for a very long time. I've been doing YouTube longer than a lot of the Roblox YouTubers that are big today. Like Kaneko Kitten, he has more videos than me, but I've been on YouTube longer than he has. I don't know about Albert, but I'm, you could definitely say that I've been on YouTube longer than a lot of the content creators that we all know and love today. But, they are mostly bigger than me, but I have seniority over a lot of them. So, you know, I guess that's kind of like a medal in of itself, you know, and, you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, 1,000 videos, that's insane. And I'm very glad that you guys pointed that out to me, because I would not have noticed that. I would have easily, well, not overlooked it, but I wouldn't have noticed it. I would not have noticed it at all. So, yeah, thank you guys so much, because a lot of you guys were pointing that out. So, thank you very much, because now I can actually celebrate this milestone. Uh, man, I cannot believe that. That is nuts. 1,000 videos. Sheesh. What have I been doing with my time? Barney is so noob. No you. Anyway, guys, that's all the comments I've got for today. If you want a chance to be featured in the next Reading Your Comments video, leave a comment. That's the only way you're going to get in. But anyway, guys... If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. And as always, please do not send hate to anybody that was featured in this video. And make sure to follow me on Twitter for updates, twitter.com slash BarneyHunter12. Check out that community tab. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!